Show them how much you love them with Bob Martin. We're turning our attention to our pets this morning because we do love our furry friends here on Expresso. And we're talking diets. Now, when it comes to what you feed your pet, you need to make sure that they get a balanced diet on a day-to-day -day basis. And here to give us some pointers and tips, we have our holistic vet, Megan Kelly, joining us. Megan, thank you so much for joining us once again. Thank you. Oh, these dogs are starting to love <laughs> you. You can see they're so comfortable around you. We're talking diets. Just like us, we need to make sure that we get a balanced diet, and but the same goes for our pets as well. Now, when it comes to a balanced diet for our pets, exactly what does that consist of? Yeah, it basically means that uh, you're meeting your, your pet's daily um, nutrient requirements. Um, so a balanced food will be balanced in protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins and minerals. Um, and you want to make sure for whatever age um, pet you mm -hmm. have that you are giving them the full amount of vitamins and minerals, etc. that they need. Okay, we're going to talk about the type of, you know, what to look out for in terms of the food. But when it comes to the feeding methods, I know that, you know, a lot of people out there have got different methods, i.e. leave food out the whole day. Sometimes they feed two, three times a day. What is your take on that? I normally recommend feeding twice a day. So what you do is you'd measure what their daily requirements is for the day, divide it into two, feed them in the morning. If they don't finish that food, you can add that into the evening meal because that would be their daily requirement. Okay. Um, you need to be careful when you're doing what we call ad-lib feeding. So that's when you just put the food down and let them eat because um, okay. some dogs tend to be really greedy and they'll overeat and then you have weight issues. Um, and especially if you've got multi-dog households, then if you're just putting food down, you don't know who's getting how much, and exactly. you're, you usually have one dog that will eat more than the other one, mm -hmm. and then you'll have weight issues. So best to really control it twice a day, that's, yeah. that's the normal that you That's control. enough for them to feel full um, and to be able to exercise um, throughout okay. the day. Now, in order from if you feed your pet twice a day, I mean you control it, but you need to make sure that they get proper nutrition in. So when you go out mm -hmm. to buy dog food, what do we need to take into account? Um, you want to make sure that they're getting the most wholesome food that they can and of good quality. Um, when you're looking at a food, depending on the age of your pet, so you, you, you need to choose a puppy food if you've got a younger dog. There's also adults and senior. And then also different size dogs. So mm -hmm. you're not going to feed a little chihuahua a big pellet. Um, so you'll feed them sort of the yeah. mini pellets. Um, when you're looking at age and also size, especially in the growth um, periods, we really want to make sure that we, we're feeding the appropriate food. Um, for example, giant breeds um, like Great Danes. Yeah. Um, if you don't feed them the right calcium phosphorus ratio and protein ratio um, in their puppy years, they can have joint problems. Um, mm. So it's really important that you feed the correct mm. food for your specific mm. pet. But I mean, if you are unsure as a pet owner, you can always ask your vet. I mean, they would be able to give you some advice as well. Sure, sure. 100%. Now, some dogs out there are fussy eaters, especially when it comes yeah. to dry food, to pellets, and what happens then, the owners start feeding them scraps or whatever the dog wants to eat. Yeah. How do you approach that issue? What do you do so that that pet still gets a healthy dose of food in a day? Yeah, it can be tricky um, because you know, when you're feeding the pellets, it does get maybe a little bit boring for them. Yeah. Um, but remembering that's a complete food. So what they get, all the, the percentages of everything is correct then. So when you start adding in things, mm. then you start unbalancing the food. Um, the first thing that I would suggest is to just try and add a little bit of warm water to the food. It just wets the, in, the, the, the mm. outside of the pellet um, and it releases some odors, just making it a little bit more palatable. Perfect. Some great advice. And I mean, lastly, um, water. We don't need to uh, say how important water plays or the role yeah. that water plays. Yeah, I mean, you should always have fresh water available for your pets. Um, the important things really for water is to prevent dehydration. Uh, it also yeah. helps to eliminate toxins from the body, um, to move nutrients around the body, and also for temperature regulation. Megan, thank you so much for joining us this morning, giving us a couple of tips and pointers on how to treat our pets when it comes to diets. So there we go. Put some effort into what you feed your pets and through the diet, show them how much you love them. Show them how much you love them with Bob Martin.